so it's wednesday and i had a lot of fun creating the vlog that actually went up today at 10 a.m i was feeling like complete crap last night and i barely got any sleep and i actually woke up at one in the morning feeling the baby kick for the first time and at first i wasn't sure what to think but then it happened again and i was like this is really weird and i think the fact that i was just so tired and just not feeling good that it just it annoyed me but when i think about it now it just it makes me really happy but i feel like crap and I wanted to do a realistic, what did I eat in a day as being pregnant? And what a better video than to film what I eat in a day while having morning sickness, right? So it is currently 11.31. I technically ate breakfast this morning. I woke up, I felt like I needed to puke. So I thought that eating something firsthand would help. It usually does. So I grabbed some water, I grabbed a banana, and I sat down and I started working. But about five minutes later, that was not the case. I ended up throwing up the entire banana, all of the water that I had just drank. So that was an awesome to my morning. I almost peed myself, almost. I know that's a little bit of TMI, but when you're pregnant, like, what can you do? You, there's nothing. So, I mean, it's better to be honest with you guys than to tell you a bunch of bullshit. So, um, yeah. I do actually have a meeting in a half hour, and it usually lasts about an hour. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through the whole meeting because I've been puking on and off all morning. Just stomach acid because I haven't eaten anything since that banana. Again, I'm not counting the banana, but I'm thinking that I'm gonna make like an egg and cheese sandwich, like McMuffin situation. I don't know, that just sounds really good. And right now nothing sounds good because my stomach is just, I can feel it like going up my throat. Uh, I was able to drink, like, I think this is like 24 ounces of water. So I ended up drinking 24 ounces of water and I haven't gotten more just because the sound of water is so repulsive right now. And uh, I just, I can't stress this enough just to, uh. Okay, so I'm getting ready and I was just looking at these scrunchies that I got yesterday and thinking of just how freaking cute these scrunchies are and I was like I have to share this with you um I got them with my best friend yesterday at TJ Maxx there were two packs of them we got like these teddy bear scrunchies and usually like scrunchies usually scrunchies are like super like thin and the elastic just sucks but this elastic is super strong and you can feel that it's super stiff. You can feel that it's super thick. Um, so I got the pack of three, this was like $3.99. And then I got a pack of one, two, three, four, five scrunchies here. And they're more neutral toned, like the teddy bear scrunchies are. And again, they are super thick. So I really love that. But I was just thinking about these scrunchies and how much I love the neutral color. And I'm thinking that I'm probably going to do more of a neutral color for the nursery. I also love like the pastel pinks and blues and the tans and, and the like the burnt oranges. We actually, we actually picked up this cup that I really love. I'll have to show you, but I just, I love the colors that are on it. I'll show you here. And it says, when it rains, look for rainbows. I just, how cute is that? I love that. And then on the inside it has like pink. But that's kind of how I'm feeling for the nursery right now. 
I'm so out of breath. Ah. Life when your lungs are half the size. Anyways, right now we have a crib and it's like dark brown. I thought about sanding it down and just painting it white, but that just, that seems like a lot of work. So I don't know about that. But what I'm going to do is actually do a thrift my nursery because being pregnant, having a baby, it's so expensive and you don't realize it until you actually have one. So we're trying to keep it as low budget as we can and thrifting it will give it my personal touch and I'll be able to actually do something, especially when I spend a lot of my time at home working, cleaning. I don't really go out often, maybe grocery shopping once a week, so that's about it. I know this was supposed to be a what I eat in the day, but I really just, I had to share that with you. So food is coming soon, I promise. So I have some water boiling in my Hamilton Beach, so that should be done here soon. And then I grabbed my favorite stash peppermint tea. This is the best peppermint tea ever. I'm super into teas and coffee and things like that. So when I say something is really good, I mean it. If there's some other brand of tea that you recommend, definitely tell me down in the comments and I'll go ahead and try it out. I also want to say, sorry about this lighting situation, I can turn that down a little bit, it's okay. I also want to say that this right here, let me grab it, is the best chocolate milk, chocolate milk? The best hot chocolate that you can get, the Stevens. I have the Stevens dark chocolate, hot chocolate up here. And it's super, super rich and creamy. And then this one's just a milk chocolate, but it has real candy cane pieces in it. Oh my gosh. And it smells absolutely amazing. This is definitely a must have. I got this like a week ago. So far, I'm the only one that's been drinking it. So it hasn't been going by too fast. Making this tea undone. And then I'm gonna use my new cup that I showed you earlier. strawberries and grapes and then I'm going to clean out my email I have my strawberries and grapes I'm gonna go ahead and sit down at the table and look through my email I also do want to say that I do feel a lot better compared to earlier in the day I think that eating that sandwich and drinking some peppermint tea really helped my stomach I'm still not feeling my best but I'm feeling way better and I and I couldn't be more grateful for that so
better. I'm going to go ahead and take my prenatals now. Let's see. The prenatal I'm using right now is the Spring Valley prenatal. I was doing the Aldi prenatal, but these ones have more folic acid in them. And I just... Oh! And I wasn't getting enough of the folic acid taking the Aldi, so I take these instead. Let's see. I'm super picky. The strawberry one isn't very good, but there's orange and lime too. So no strawberry. I think I'm gonna do an orange and a lime. So it's about 4.30 and Casey's starving. So I started making dinner already. I had these chicken breasts marinating in the fridge overnight. So they've been a, a good at least 12 hours soaking. So they'll be super juicy. And then I made a batter with some Cajun and pepper and spices on all that stuff. And then we actually ran out of oil. So Casey ran to Safeway to get more. But once he comes back, we will go ahead and start deep frying them. And then I have some fries that are gonna go in the air fryer. Casey's also picking up more french fries. He brought me back some M&Ms from Safeway. They're actually the pretzel M&Ms, which are my favorite. So I'm gonna have a handful of these before dinner is completely done. So that is it for the what I eat in a day. Freshly morning sickness edition. I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the night. So I will see you guys next week. Um, next week video, blah. next week's video is actually a gender reveal. Be excited to see that. I'm certainly excited to find out the gender of my baby.